<laughs> bankrupt. <laughs> bankrupt? You were, so you were bankrupt like Mike Tyson? Well, maybe. Jesus. I mean, I sure wasn't winning like the Green Bay Packers. This. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. You just took my... So we're going to call it Winning Wednesday, huh? Hold on, I got to take a sip off my... Mm. Mm. This guy. <sighs> winning, winning Wednesday. Go Pack. Sorry, Dallas. Better, tr better luck next time. Hey, for those of you who didn't know, this is the Go Fast line. <laughs> we're starting it right out, right now. We're, we're, we're trying to get a little uprise from some of you fans, you know what I mean? Well, it was, <laughs> well I am. And it, plus, it's kind of topical, too. A lot of very, very cold weather. Even in, like, down south KC, people with their beers freezing and stuff like that. I think that weather's starting to creep over this way now, too. Get a little chilly out there. Didn't they take a picture of, like, the head coach... Uh, Boogers were coming down on oh, his beer, frozen on his beer. It's absolutely something. ridiculous out there. But guys, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to another, another, another fan favorite of Facebook Wednesday. There we go. Well, honestly, Facebook Friday. Oh, no, okay. not this time. So, guys, just going to start off with uh, some house cleaning stuff. Um, first thing we want to talk about is make sure you're constantly getting a hold of your sales reps. There are some deep, deep, deep discounts on CarPlay Android Auto units from Sony. Kenwood, JVC, and Alpine. So make sure you're you're getting a hold of your sales rep. Uh, they're going on right now, very limited quantities. The guys have taken advantage of it. You know, have seen uh, insane deals. So make sure you get a hold of your sales reps and uh, ask them about those deals. Yeah, and and again, we're gonna try to make sure we go over everything that we can. Obviously, you know, that's what we get paid to do is to help you guys out. But there could be things that we, we forget. There could be things that maybe we don't get to. Maybe you, you have to take another call or something like that. You can also find a lot of this stuff on GoFST.com as well. So during the business hours, keep us busy. Yeah. It never bothers us to keep us busy. After hours, maybe if we couldn't get to the phone right away while you're waiting for the call back or, or whatever it is before hours, maybe you're cleaning up the shop or something, you're getting a little bit early, always can check out. We got a lot of the deals on there too. And a lot of times that's where... Some of those questions come from guys like, man, I was on the website. You sure that's the price? Like, that just seems a little low. That doesn't seem, it is. Get it while it's still there at that price. Absolutely, you know, it's, it's the vendors and us are always trying to save you guys an extra dollar, obviously, and we wanna make sure that you guys feel that we're there as a support for you guys. So make sure you take advantage of those deals when they're available, because let me tell you, they're here today, gone tomorrow. So make sure you take advantage of those deals. It means more money into your pockets, more money into your shops. So the, the bigger you buy, obviously the better you save. And uh, you know, you buy, you buy it cheap and you sell for more. Yeah, and make sure to check, and that's important as well, is there's a lot of price reductions that go on uh, through the manufacturers. There's a lot of stuff that's not just an eBay thing. It's gonna be on the bigger, uh, you know, like the crutch fields, the best buys of the world. So there are going to be some discounts that are going out. Make sure you guys are staying competitive with that as well. So make sure you know what the prices are that you're pitching out in your store. And also, again, tying back into the discounts, make sure you know which brands are reacting to those sales and helping keep you profitable. Because as we know, sometimes you buy something that goes on sale and you're just out of luck. You know, you, you, you don't own it at the, at the greatest price. You got to turn it into cash fast. Mm -hmm. A lot of those sales now, the vendors are helping us out. The vendors are helping us react to get some prices lower and keep your margin the same. So if you're not checking on those kind of things, our website, the manufacturer's websites, competitor websites. Our dealer page. Our dealer page. If you're not checking on that stuff, you might be missing the boat. And that's the last thing you want to do these days is be priced totally wrong. You know, again, mm -hmm. you guys you guys earn the right to, to go maybe a little bit of above retail. I mean, again, you're, you're providing a service, but you just don't want to be the guy that's missed the $300 off sale and you're pitching it really, really high while the guy down the street is priced appropriately and buying appropriately. So always keep your eyes out for that kind of stuff. And not only on head units, also make sure you check out because there are speaker deals. There are amplifier deals from every vendor that we deal with. So guys, make sure you're checking out that page um, I think we renamed the deals page on GoFST.com, so it's no longer Big Buys. I think it's uh, a little teaser. Yeah, deals or something like that on there. Make sure you click on there. The deals are on that page. Um, also, if you're on Facebook, Go Fast Dealer page. Um, if you're a dealer of ours, make sure you you check that page out and you uh, 
you know, your, your requests will be joined in, so that, that way you can see the deals we got going on, the classes, the trainings that are that are open to all you guys, so that you guys get trained. So, um, another deal we want to talk about still is the buy five get one free from Series Six M. Oh, I don't have the billboard here no more. I was gonna go here. Um, you know, guys have ta a lot of you guys have taken advantage of that buy five get one free deal. Um, it's it's just added. It's an add-on to any head unit you're selling. If the head unit says Series 6M on it ready, make sure you're attaching Series 6M. It's easy, easy money. There's plenty of people that want it because you guys aren't selling it or even suggesting, uh, you know, some of the, the deals, which are whenever a customer buys a head unit, should always be suggesting accessories. Whether it's an amp kit, a harness, a antenna adapter, Series 6M, um, even headlights are LEDs. You should always be uh, trying to upsell on your sales. So that way you make more money in the end run. So that buy five, get one D, uh, free is still going on, guys. Yeah, and all those CarPlay Android Auto uh, radios we talked about that were on sale, they all got one thing in common. Well, they got multiple things in common, but one big one, all Sirius XM ready. So not only are you getting some nice discounts to go out and give that to your customers right up front, if you want to load in, in pretty much one for one you want to go ahead and, and buy in on some uh, some of the tuners as well you get a little bit more of a break there you're pitching out the complete solution to your customer which I think that's the biggest thing whatever that solution is pitch out the complete solution make sure you don't leave any stone unturned everything that they're gonna need you can provide but you got to make sure you pitch it out to them so that they know that they have access to the stuff but a great time to load up uh, on CarPlay radios and Sirius XM tuners because Audio is still going right mm -hmm. now. Audio has been going all season long. Like usually you see a slowdown in winter time. No, you really haven't. We have not seen that slowdown. Guys are still doing big systems, still doing head unit installs, are still doing, in fact, window tint. Usually you, you know, you kind of slow down window tint because it's obviously cold and it's snowing. No, that hasn't slowed down either. So if you, if you guys are not thinking outside the box, Make sure you get a hold of one of your sales reps so we can give you some ideas. Because, guys, let me tell you, you always want to add services to your shops. Don't be a one-trick pony because being a one-trick pony will put you out of business. Yeah, and obviously, sales guys are going to tell you about new stuff. We talked about going on GoFST.com. But this is going to be another opportunity to go and actually get to see stuff live, get to see some sales reps live, get to do some networking. And that's because we are going to be doing a grand opening party for the Hicksville Warehouse now we've had the Hicksville Warehouse for a little bit now, but we want to do something nice and big just to celebrate that territory. Mm -hmm. That's an emerging territory for Go Fast. You know, been in there for a little bit now, but one of the newer territories that we have. So we really want to go and and kick that off, show off that new warehouse. So that's going to be coming in April. Uh, we're going to give you more details in the exact date and time. But again, talking about finding different things to sell, we talked about I think last week. Whenever you show up at one of the warehouses, uh, you know whether it's a Hicksville warehouse or here, you're always going to see something that you didn't know you had access to. So, a great opportunity just to go out and check out the new facility. But while you're there, see what else uh, GoFast uh, offers that you guys can turn into some cash. Yeah, so we're going to have a whole bunch of you know some deals going on, food, fun, great opportunities to check out the lineups in person. You're also going to uh, get a chance to meet our new sales rep in that territory for New Jersey, New York, uh, David Goldstein. Congratulations, David, to uh, joining our family. As you can see, we're growing, and we're expecting to grow some more. So, David, thank you for joining the team. You're very, very, you know, you're always welcomed with open arms here down in the, the middle town location, but uh, we'll see you in Hicksville yeah, location. In a the, few. Home, the home office over there. So that's going to be one thing you got to put on the counter. Now, again, we didn't give you the exact date, but we know April's going to be here soon. Mm -hmm. Shortly after that, there's another couple of dates you're going to want to put on the calendar, and that's because K-Fest Atlantic City is going to be going on, and that's June 7th through the 9th. And this year, K-Fest Atlantic City is going to be going fast. So there's going to be some go-fast representation there. We're just teasing again. We're not going to tell you everything that's going to go on. Really, really cool stuff. Obviously, GoFast does everything big. So that's going to be a, a tremendous opportunity. A lot of you guys uh, attend already, but make sure you put that on your calendars. Again, June 7th and the 9th. 
I know that's halfway through 2024, but it's going to be here it before gets we quick. know it. It gets here very, very quickly. Like, the, the, we're already in the middle of January. Like, we just had New Year's. Yeah, 2024. I thought it was 2020 still. I Whatever, but. Let me tell you, it comes by quick, guys. So if you guys are not planning ahead, make sure you plan ahead. Write it down in your calendar. June 7th to the 9th, Knowledge Fest in Atlantic City. For all you dealers that have been to Knowledge Fest, you know what is involved you know what's there it's a day it's a, a days of training of uh, seeing the new product lineups days of, of really really getting to, to shake hands and, and and see sales reps you know so you'll be able to see this year uh, some of your go fast reps down in that area in, in knowledge fest so I'm excited Hopefully we'll get to see you yeah, there. Combining some forces, bring a little bit of that go fast flavor into KFAS. Very, very pumped about that. But for those that cannot wait till June, you're like, June, that's so far away. I want to get my learn on now. I want to make my business better now. Oh, don't worry. We got something for you there as well. So the next part of the EDA University series, we got kicker training coming up. Mm -hmm. So that one still got a little bit of a way. You got a little bit of time to, to prepare for it. That one's going to be coming in February. So the first day is going to be Wednesday, February 7th, kind of similar to what we did with the, the previous ones. It's going to be a two-day affair. We're going to give you a couple time frames for each of those days because, as Jonathan loves to point out, this is for the whole EDA. So East Coast, West Coast, whether you're down south or you're up north. Well, it really doesn't even matter where they're at. Where you are. If you guys, this is for you guys. Yeah, if you guys want to learn about new products, learn about, you know, you want to actually sit sit there and actually ask the head trainers about their products and what they do different than everybody else this is your time to shine you got literally four times to go on february 7th 10 a.m or 3 p.m and this is eastern standard time what the hell happened there what what, what the hell talking? happened to your hair what the Oh, God. Ben's now back to no long hair Ben. He's uh, shaved down his Didn't beard. He's lost that. his hair. Holy crap. Just wanted to throw him off a little bit. It threw me completely <laughs> off. What the so, hell Sorry, that? kicker, for interrupting Jonathan's speech there. Please. Holy crap. So uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time on February 7th and 3 p.m. Eastern time, February 7th. Remember, guys, Eastern time, Mountain time. And West Coast time, which is uh, what you 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 you, you really yeah. you just go, Google that one. We'll give you East Coast time because that's what we know. You messed me up with the the, the you cut your hair. Um, <laughs> and then Thursday, February eighth, eleven a.m. Eastern time, and then we're gonna do a eight p.m. Eastern time, but it's gonna be in Spanish. So the first three trainings are gonna be in English, and for all you Spanish speaking guys, para la gente que habla español, tune in eight p.m on thursday february 8th for espanol so yeah and i, I really i know that's going to keep you thrown off all day buddy but i really want to thank everybody that did attend the the spanish speaking one i think that is tremendous mm -hmm. again getting that support that's a a huge 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 community that supports go fast so i love to see that the eda is is supporting that as well mm -hmm. but again if you guys like that if, if that's something that could benefit you if it could benefit your installers it could benefit your, your salespeople, make sure to support and again support all those times again you'll see your favorite sale uh, go fast sales reps going to be on uh, one of those time frames we're going to do a little divide and conquer but definitely definitely make sure support all the trainings that support that spanish i'd love to see that be a trend and keep on going for all the eda trainings going forward hey you know as as we always say we're always going to be a first to try something new and guess what the eda and go fast are doing spanish trainings which are very very rare for you to see so we're actually trying to do a spanish training for you all the all these d different classes you see we did a wave tech one uh we're doing now uh we did a race sport one and uh, now we're doing a kicker one in Spanish. And, you know, it's been getting very, very well attended. So we want to make sure that you guys don't miss out. Um, all the Spanish-speaking guys out there, don't miss out because there are a lot of Spanish-speaking uh, shops right now. So make sure you attend February 7th, 10 a.m., 3 p.m. Eastern Time, February 8th, 11 a.m., Eastern Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Time in Spanish. Yeah, and I know we've been talking about audio still going on, but I got a feeling it's going to get colder. That's going to be the time when we're doing a lot more remote starters. So it's going to be a really nice opportunity to kind of break things up, get a little bit of 
uh, a change of pace, going focusing back on audio again and getting ready for that audio season because, again, it's it's like John said, we're middle of January already. So things like marine season are going to be mm -hmm. here before you know it. Audio season will be back in full effect before you know it. Best way to be prepared is to go out and get the factory direct training so you know all the new stuff that's out there, gain that competitive advantage so that you're able to take that money where maybe the competitor doesn't. But, uh, again, support those that support you. Kicker, thank you so much for that. We also got another uh, supporting uh, line out here. A lot of you guys are familiar, and if you're not familiar, get familiar. Uh, Maestro, I data link Maestro. Um, this company does a lot, and I mean a lot of unique features for a lot of newer vehicles, um, especially the Jeep JL, if you think about it. There's not a lot of companies supporting Jeep JLs that you want to add an aftermarket radio to. With this kit, it comes with the harness. So what I mean by with the harness, it actually comes with the vehicle specific harness in, in the box that literally you're just plugging in the factory and then you've got the terminals at the end for the Maestro and then you've got now your radio plug that you could either A, plug into the factory or if you're very specific, so they sell Kenwood, they sell Sony, they sell JVC, um, and it's as easy as this. So you get the, the aftermarket plug in there. Oh, you got usually you cut it off and you just wire it in. Well, here's as easy as it gets. Ready? Don't and then you plug, easier than that. And then you plug it into the radio and you're done. Here's your, your cam wire, your accessory wire, your cam plus wire, and then your obd2 connector that goes right here so that way you get the cool effects of gauges so if if your vehicle does heater controls heated seats heated steering wheel controls um it'll show you rpm on the radio itself but it has to be a maestro compatible radio so i know that kenwood sony jvc wait you mean all the radios we just said that are on special <laughs> yeah they all are maestro compatible so guys make sure you're looking at maestro because they do like i said a lot of unique features um they actually have a dsp processor the dsr1 that uses t harnesses with newer vehicles it just plug it plug and play and you're done you got a processor in your vehicle they have steering wheel control adapters that you can literally it, it, it programs to because it doesn't work on older analog vehicles if your vehicle is digital new chrysler new ram um new hondas if it's if it's a digital steering wheel control all you gotta do is program the module it's literally as easy as going onto maestro's website clicking what you want the volume up button to be because you can set it up so many different ways it could be a, a rear view camera trigger it could be a front camera trigger it could be to set up so the gauges show up on the screen. Whatever you want, it has that type of expandability with just a click of a button and a programming. So make sure you check them out. They only don't do it for cars. They do it for Harleys too. They have a stereo control module that works with Harley radios. So that way you just program it, install it, and go. Yeah, they, and real quick, just while you're talking about Harleys, waterproof uh, cases for the steering wheel controls and for the RRs themselves. So. Mm -hmm. There's endless possibilities. Again, if you got somebody that's doing like a beach crawler Jeep that's going to get rained on and everything, you can literally still utilize Maestro uh, product in those kind of applications. Again, power sports, Harley stuff. You're going to have that ability. And really quick, I kind of want to backtrack just for a quick second. A lot of you guys know the company ADS from a different uh, uh, category as well. They're the ones that make a lot of the bypasses mm -hmm. for, uh, for First Tech. So they're already utilizing a lot of different things through data. So that was the big thing, data, data, data. Like when you're doing a remote starter now, a lot of times you're hooking up to CAN bus wires and that, that's pretty much it. It's gonna do your locks, all those kind of things. Well, ADS said a lot of vehicles now, when you're changing a radio, a mm -hmm. lot of stuff runs in through data. If you're trying to change out an amplifier, mm -hmm. well, you can't because data, everything's mm -hmm. running on the CAN system. So what better company to integrate radios, audio systems and somebody that's already super deep entrenched in the CAN bus system. So that's why uh, uh, ADS and, and Maestro can offer out a lot of things that's, uh, and a lot of solutions that other manufacturers cannot do. So they also make a lot of unique adapters, like there's a USB retention adapters, there's the factory Series 6 uh, satellite adapter. So if your vehicle has Series 6 from factory, obviously you know excuse me, 
you change out the radio and you lose that feature so what they've done is they developed an antenna adapter where it takes the factory antenna so you don't have to run a Sirius XM antenna or, you know on the outside of the inside of the car wherever you put it and it adapts it to the Maestro RR they're also coming out with three new modules which I'm very excited about one's going to be a complete amp integration like you could f you remove the factory amplifier so you can add an aftermarket radio in there's going to be one that uh they do you know like for like the gm integration stuff like that that you you know bose or do you have other vendors that deal with them they're going to have a solution that's pretty much going to be a plug and play solution for for those vehicles um they're going to come out with three new modules i'll be on the lookout for them um and it's going to be scheduled hopefully in the next few months to be released but maestro has thought of pretty much everything you can think of if you're adding radios if you're trying to bypass an amplifier add a dsp into the vehicle they have thought about it they make it very very easy with plug and play harnesses you know so you don't have to it, it kind of takes the guesswork on trying to figure out what wire is what um they do like i said dash is for jeep jl's ford f-150s in both you know, uh, uh, 4.3 inch or 8 inch screens. Not a lot of vendors are doing 8 inch screens. It literally takes the factory 8 inch out. You put the place in. Maestro knows how to to, to configure um, the dash, and and also to put all your your tire pressures, your RPM, your what else did I have? I even have boost. So for turbocharged cars, you can make a you know your boost gauge on the radio show up and. Uh, Maestro has also integrated um, escort radar detectors on their units. Um, if you need, if you want to make it simplistic, let's say you're adding a radio to Jeep JL. This customer has a bunch of lights, literally a bunch of lights in their Jeep, and they got remotes. How easy is it for you to trigger it through the radio with a Maestro RR2? Make sure you have a RR2 because the RR2 has the output triggers. Now you can actually go on the settings in the radio hit you know front lights you can name it whatever you want front lights click on the radio and boom the front lights turn on you can have it do triggers like uh pulsating lights i've seen some guys where they've taken uh the maestro adapter they've added it to the to brake trigger and then what it does is whenever they press the brake i know you see a lot of vehicles where you're seeing the light pulsate you can set it up to do that there's so much expandability with Maestro, and they're just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and more features added. So if you're not trying out Maestro, guys, you're not you're doing a disservice to your company. Maestro has a solution. Yeah, that, that's and that's a huge, huge, huge thing. Again, the expandability on this. Again, mm. it's going through data. Mm. So we have a lot of really creative guys. We've got a lot of really techie guys that are out there that are shop owners, that are installers. And... I don't think we've even started to see the tip of the iceberg as to what you can do with this. Again, if it's CAN driven in the vehicle, almost regardless to what it is, so any functionality that comes on the new cars, again, whether it's like an interior ambient light system, whatever it happens to be, if it is controlled through CAN bus, there's a good chance you're going to be able to control it through steering wheel controls mm -hmm. or through the actual radio if you're using Maestro product. And not only CAN bus stuff, like Jonathan said, it could also be analog triggered things. So even if it's something that's not already in the, the, the CAN system, if it's not a factory feature you want to activate, if it's something aftermarket like lighting or anything, it can be done with this as well. So, I, I mean, I'm sure there are some limitations, but I don't think anybody's even gotten close to seeing what those limitations are yet. Well, you know, I, I, the latest and greatest thing that I, I've been getting requested a lot is to do a front face camera. You know, some radios don't have the output trigger for a front face camera, um, or you just can't do it with the radio. Maestro has figured out a way to turn, you know, you, you have to map the steering wheel control the way you want it, because you can do just a quick press and it'll do like a volume up, volume down, whatever you want to set up as. But if you press and hold the button, it does a whole different set of, of, of features. So they figured out a way, let's say you got an F-150 older generation you know, p person owns it, uh, grandmother, grandfather, and they, they, you know, it's hard for them to see the front of the vehicle. With Maestro, now you can add front uh, cameras and just tell, you know, obviously set up a button so that you can inform the customer what the trigger is. Whenever you press and hold that button, it will literally trigger the front camera on the radio. 
if you don't think about ex, you know, uh, talking about expanding, that's what Maestro does. They can do all of that. They can do, you know, your your front camera inputs, which is huge to me. Um, like I said, it could be triggered with a button. You can do RPM gauges. You can do rear camera triggers. So if you've got a, you know, not, once again, an older generation that when they're driving, they want to trigger the back camera while they're driving to see who's in back of them. It's all done with a push of a button and it's all controlled via cam. So if the customer wants it, always look on Maestro's website to see if it's possible to be done. I'm pretty sure if the vehicle has a T harness, if the vehicle works with Maestro RR, it can be done. So guys, make sure you're looking at this as a line to expand your horizon because they do a lot of things that a lot of people don't even know. That's the reason why trainings are important. I learned about all this stuff during trainings. And let me tell you, when I was one-on-one -on -one with the trainer, he was talking to me about that camera input, and he goes, well, how about auxiliary lighting? You know, with the Maestro RR2, the customer has, you know, underglow lighting or maybe even door well lighting, whatever lighting they want. You can actually trigger it when you know, with a push of a button, how easy is that? You don't have to no longer, you know, just go in and hit the remote or hit your cell phone. It can be triggered with a push of a button on a dash or even a push of a button on a remote. It's all controlled via CAN, guys. So if you're looking for expandability, Maestro has it. Yeah, and Matt did a tremendous job of, of, of the training everybody mm -hmm. at the EDA University training. We actually got an opportunity when uh, we traveled with, uh, for JBC mm -hmm. to get that in person as well, but Matt did a great job on uh, on the online one as well for everybody. A lot of the stuff you just heard Jonathan and myself say was stuff that came right from that training. Mm -hmm. So going to kick it back to go back to kicker. We got a training coming up for them. Just like we're giving you these little hidden gems that, that can make or break a huge sale or can really push it over the edge, you're always going to learn something there. So go learn exactly whatever Kicker's got to say and, and revisit. Make sure you're always going back and, and trying to relearn. Get on Maestro's website. Have that bookmarked because they're coming out with new kits all the time. If you talked to us 365 days ago, you would not have nearly the same number of solutions for your customer. So again, go out there, do that. And I'm gonna put the same challenge out that we did after the, uh, the ADS training. I think that there's gonna be some really, really cool stuff that people are gonna be able to do with Maestro. I'd love to see people share it, the most creative ideas. Mm -hmm. Let's get those kind of things flowing. Again, that's just gonna make all of us better. But I know there's something really, really fun out there. And don't let it be me that figures it out. Don't let it be your sales guy. You guys are the ones that are in these cars all day. If your sales guy figures it out before you, that's shame, shame, shame. <laughs> and for Ben to figure it out, let me tell you, that's impressive. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have many cars that could take Maestro. iPhone so, 6, <laughs> So if I'm TSX. figuring it out before you guys, don't do it. So, yeah, sh share it in there. I just would love to see what kind of creativity we can come up with. I just think that, you know, with the expandability of Maestro, you guys, it's, it's a way for you guys to upcharge and sell to your customers features. So customer wants certain things triggered in their vehicle. Listen, you're doing Maestro. Why not upcharge them for it? You make extra money. Customer wants lighting done and triggered through a thick can. Boom, Maestro. Always think about a way to make money because these are not free services. You don't just, oh, you got underglow lighting. Oh, you got halo ring uh, headlights. Oh, you want the gauges on the radio charge accordingly guys you have to think outside the box in order for you to make more money these days when everybody's beating everybody uh, you know up on e on pricing and just features be different I, I always tell my dealers that be different you know you guys uh think that that i kind of preach the choir every day of, oh just be different you know do this do that it could be you could beat out the competition i'm saying it because i know competition is tough and a lot of the competition that don't pay attention to these videos or go to trainings, they miss out on stuff like this. They really do. So you can be different. You can make more money. You can add on to every sale. I've always preached and, and said, if you're not adding on to sales or looking outside the box to make more money, AKA adding a, a line item that says $5 shop supplies, you're using shop supplies to do install guys. So why aren't you charging at least something to cover your shop supplies? A lot of shops are doing it. Why aren't you doing it? You ever been to a performance shop? That oil that they used, that rag that they used, 
that that you know the you bought it the, yeah to, <laughs> the ac refill it. guess what you there's a line on your invoice that says you know ac refill 45 dollars shop racks ten dollars there's always something yeah. add on. Go to the doctor. You better believe that Tylenol is going to be on there if you oh, gave it. Yep, they ain't giving it, it to you for free. They're not afraid to charge you for it or charge your insurance company for it. They ain't afraid, so don't be afraid to do that uh, yourselves either. And uh, um, there's a couple other things I wanted to, uh, to go over with uh, as well. So you're going to have, obviously, uh, radio replacement stuff. You're going to have amplifier replacement stuff. A lot of the boxes do kind of look similar, which, again, that's great for branding. You want to have a lot of that similarity. Mm -hmm. But if you need a quick uh, way to tell the difference between some of the SKUs, if you look out there, if you see a, a model that has HR or just R or RR on there, that's going to be for the Maestro RR. Pretty much makes sense. If it's got that H in the front of it, that means it's capable of taking that quick connect harness. So, again, adding on to sales. It's going to save you time. It's something you can charge the customer for. It makes the install even more professional for them. But that's going to be the designation for there. You're also going to see ones that have an A and a D uh, starting out the model number. Those are going to be for either the DSR-1 or the Maestro AR. Mm -hmm. In, I think, I think every case, if it's got the A, it's going to be for an amplified system. If it's got a D, it's going to be for a non-amplified system. Very, very important because you will see a lot of similarities. So don't just call us up and say, hey, I need a Maestro CH1. they got, they got a, quite a few things that have th those three uh, alphanumerics in there. Again, we'll figure it out with you. I think we'll be able to, to, to help you out. But just be aware of that, especially if you're looking to stock your... Uh, uh, you know your back rooms mm -hmm. you don't want to double up on a skew that you already had a solution for and you definitely don't want to not have a solution in stock if that's your intention so a couple things on there and then a, a lot of the new kits will also and i think it's on this side or it's in one of the the top corners right there but it'll tell you whether it has that uh the um hu harness availability uh with the kits as well so that's something that's available guys this is a simple add-on it costs peanuts and it saves you probably 20 minutes of trying to figure out wires so it's a it's a benefit for you guys to add it onto your shops if you're not familiar with it please get a hold of your sales rep i know we're beating a dead horse right now but it's just there's a lot of information and and i hate to say it because i i talked to a lot of shops and a lot of them go oh, i didn't even know that existed you know trainings are key to developing your business model and, and growing your business add-ons adding on more you know more stuff to your sales tickets to your tickets to get uh, you know obviously more money into your shops you know a lot of you guys don't charge properly like I know some of you guys are still at sixty dollars an hour for when you're for hourly charges you know if the if the <coughs> bring that up you all right there buddy I almost dying <laughs> If too much of that green, if the dealership, well, like, hey, listen, careful. There. <laughs> if the dealership can charge $150 an hour to somebody who comes into their dealership for an oil change or whatever and kind of convince them that you got to get your brakes done or you need an air filter for $150 when it costs you $20, if they're charging a premium, why can't retail stores like you guys charge a premium? Always think outside the box. And with that said, we're going to finish off today's uh, Facebook Live because it's a little bit long-winded. We apologize. Us? I never would have seen that coming. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of information. We're very passionate about this business. We really love what we do. Um, you know, we're one of the, the distributors in the, in the EDA group that, you know, can tell you with, along with the rest of the EDA members, you know, this is our business. This is our passion. This is what we love to do. You know, we just aren't trying to sell you a box. We're not trying to jam things down your throat. We're trying to be a solution provider. And that's what the whole model of a distributor is. It's not about jamming product down your throats. <coughs> um, it's about literally, you know, being a partner and really, really understanding that, you know, we have your your best interest in our, in our hands. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate some of your time. Benny. What the hell? We'll talk more about that some other oh, show. Oh, God. <laughs> Bye, guys. Wigs for kids. <laughs> Did you donate it? Donated wigs for kids. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh, shout out so, to you. Yeah, some uh, about 12 lucky children will be able to have. He had a lot of hair. A new wig, yeah. He had a... Maybe I'll get decent pictures next week. I did, we did some pictures. It was, I, I actually did this. I've had this for a week now. I've been trying to hide it. Yeah. I was, I was actually going to grow my hair back out again. 
and try to hide it the whole time to see if anybody could catch it. No, you did a good job of hiding it because I didn't even know you I was going to say, but I couldn't couldn't do it anymore. So I wanted to let the cat out of the bag. But maybe we'll get some uh, pictures and show everybody the behind the scenes of that process. Oh, boy. (laughs) Guys, thank you for tuning in. See you next week.